Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out in Frisco, Texas. We're doing a media room upgrade. Where we're upgrading a, a really old Epson projector with the all new Sony VPL VW325ES native 4K projector. All right, so we got this old Epson projector. Uh, the bulb is very dim on it. I can barely see the picture on the screen. So um, instead of replacing the bulb or hunting down a bulb for this, uh, projector customer wants to go and upgrade uh, since it is old and get uh, the latest Sony 4k projector so we've already started pulling the uh, wall plate down here um, you see the studs this ceiling is sloped I don't know if it's coming through on camera but you can see it is uh, roughly a foot lower on this side than this side so um, this projector is uh, the mount is kind of wonky here we're actually going to use a um, a cathedral mount from uh, Strong, which you've seen us use before, so that uh, the projector can hang level um, on the uh, uh, on the screen here. And uh, you can see it's this projector mount uh, was not hung very well to begin with. So um, we're going to take this down. Um, we're going to see about running new cables. Um, this there's actually not any attic over accessible over this part of the attic. So. Um, we're going to see what we can do about uh, getting new cables and everything else without having to do any surgery here. So um, that's our goal, and uh, we're going to get uh, to work on this. All right, guys, so we've got the equipment closet here. Uh, this is going to be the next phase of the project. This is a couple-phase project we're doing here. So uh, we're going to upgrade the old Marantz receiver with the new Denon uh, 3700H receiver. Um, we're leaving this screen here for now. Um, what uh, the future plans are is to put an acoustically transparent screen here, uh, do a power amp uh, for the front three speakers. Uh, right now, the front speakers are in the ceiling, um, and we've got the center channel here in the front right. Uh, in the future, we'll have the acoustically transparent screen. Behind here, this is a, a wall, and behind here is a, a walkway. And we're going to put, uh, likely put the uh, Klipsch THX Ultra 2 certified bookshelf speakers, and then, like I said, behind the acoustically transparent screen. Uh, so we're going to get to work and uh, show you that process. All right, so we've got the old projector down. You can see some cables. There's actually a uh, light on there. Got some component cables and some other stuff that was shoved up in the uh, ceiling there. So uh, we're going to now run uh, one of the binary certified 4K cables. I'm going to show you that package. So and just to show you, we've got the binary B6A-4K2-15. This is the 15 meter certified 18 gig a second uh, 4K cable from Binary. So it's a 15 meter, 49.2 feet. Um, All right, so uh, we've got the new cable here. We taped uh, to the old HDMI cable to pull it through. Um, the found an access through the attic over there. Um, had to go all the way around. It was a small little... Uh, portion right about here that I uh, could climb up through um, to get up there. Uh, good thing we found that because the old cable uh, had been looped up. I guess the old, uh, whoever installed this originally, um, had done uh, had uh, done a service loop at top and taped it with electrical tape. So had to unknot it uh, from up in the ceiling so that it could pull it back through. Um, the uh, roof line actually cuts across back above the uh, shelves there, so it was very difficult to, to get back over there. It's a good thing we were able to tape it because uh, it would have been even more difficult to get to that portion of it at that point. Uh, but we do have the cable through now and enough to do a service loop on both ends down in the room. Um, since we are going to be replacing all of this uh, shelving here, we're going to put an AV rack in the uh, room behind here. So I wanted to go ahead and put an emphasis on this. This is a directional cable. It is an active cable. So um, what that means is that one end will show display here. See on the tag, it also says it on the end. Uh, the other end will say source. So you plug that in into um, your receiver or Roku, Blu-ray player, whatever you have on the other end. Uh, if you're not using this necessarily just for a projector, um, we, we use these cables for um, running for game systems or other things back to a rack, uh, for example, um, if they didn't want to have to have this door open, um, the kids want to take the Xbox around the house, uh, the Wii around the house, whatever, we can put a port underneath the screen here that uh, for HDMI that runs back to a rack uh, for the receiver or distributed um, matrix or distributed video. 
uh, in this case, you do want to be mindful that the end that says display is going into the projector. Um, you don't want to have to run cables twice, so we double, triple check this. Um, you make that mistake once, and uh, then you, you know, fix it and be more conscious of it in the future. But uh, if uh, anyone's ever running cable, we just want to make sure to emphasize that. All right, guys, so we've got the new projector up here, and uh, we're getting it all calibrated in. So um, we've got a pattern up here. I'm not sure if it's coming through on camera, but uh, the colors are a little bit off. You've got RGB. You can adjust all three colors. Um, the It's uh, not quite as sharp as it could be, and you can see when there's anything white on the screen that the color's a little off. Let me come in a little bit and see if you can see. So you can see the... The red um, is way high on this side, so um, and it's it's been like that across the board. So we can go into the menu and actually go to the panel alignment section, and we're going by zone. Um, so what we're doing is we're actually going to each little quadrant here, and we're adjusting the red uh, positioning. And so we can actually uh, just go into the menu and you just select that zone, and then you can adjust the the reds up down left or right so um we've got this one adjusted so we're going to go ahead and go up and you can see right there that the reds are high so we can select this and just come down and not sure again not sure if it's coming through on camera but it is lined up now so the idea is that you only see a white line here and not red and you can just see it's going up across as you all the way across there so uh, we're going to continue doing this um, so that the projector is fully calibrated in for the customer. All right, guys. So we've got the new Sony VPL-VW325ES 4K projector. This is native 4K. We've got it going on to this 105-inch screen here that was already here from the customer. Uh, said in the future, we're going to be upgrading this and likely uh, upgrading the speakers um, and some other big plans that the customer has here. Um, got all the lights on in the room, light coming in from outside. Um, and you just see just how bright this projector is here. Um, not sure how well it's coming through on the picture or on the camera, but uh, if we turn the lights off, you know, there's still light coming in from behind us from the game room. But this is a just something... Uh, coming through and just on pause, but you can just see just how great this picture looks here. So uh, we've got all that done. We've got the Denon AVRX 3700H installed there. And um, we're going to uh, wrap up here so we can get uh, finished up for the customer. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. If you enjoy videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Help support us by giving us a big thumbs up and hitting that bell icon to get notified of future videos. Commenting down below, telling us uh, your thoughts and giving us uh, liking our videos and a thumbs up really helps support our channel and helps uh, with the YouTube algorithm so that other people can find our videos. Uh, if you're in the local uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area, please contact us at 972-905-0556 so we can do a system like this for you. Uh, we obviously also do uh, automation, networking, uh, distributed audio. Um, outdoor systems, anything like that. You can find all of the uh, examples of all those uh, types of projects on our channel as well. Uh, please contact us at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. All that information will be down below uh, in the uh, description as well as at the bottom of the video. Thanks for your support and look forward to getting that next video out. Thanks guys.